For this project, you're going to be making an acrylic clock in the style of Memphis. We'll be using a laser cutter to cut out the shape from the acrylic sheet, and you'll be using vinyl, which is a sticky back plastic, to add the decoration. The style of Memphis is all about bright, clashing colours, unusual shapes, and unusual surface patterns. This is an example of a book stand. Here we see a chair. And here we see some clocks. This is an example of a previous student's work, as is this. You're going to be using the laser cutter to help manufacture the acrylic components. So you need to open Adobe Illustrator. You need to download the file from Wisdom. The file will appear like this. There are several key features that you need to be aware of. First of all, we need to make sure we have the Pathfinder window open here. We find that by going to Window and Pathfinder. If I unclick it, it goes away. Window, Pathfinder, brings it back. The worksheet has been preset to the maximum size of acrylic that you can use for this project. And in the middle here, we have the clock mechanism and the hole that we will need to cut to allow the clock mechanism to come through the polymer. Remembering that Memphis is about clashing shapes and unusual color combinations, we need to decide exactly what shape we wish our clock to be. In Illustrator, we have a number of very useful tools. If we come and hold over this tool, we get the number of options here. Rectangle, round rectangle, ellipse, and polygon. By clicking and dragging, we can create shapes. To move the shape, simply click on the black arrow, move it to the position where you want to be. I'm going to make a random shape by just choosing a number of tools and overlaying the shapes over each other like this. Again using the black arrow to position it where I wish it to be. Currently I can't see through my shapes so I'm going to come to the top to the fill, click here and choose the red stripe which makes it see through. I'm going to repeat that for each of my shapes and I should now be able to see all the way through sorry, the wrong one, all the way through and see my clock mechanism. I can then decide if I wish to move my clock mechanism within the shape by selecting it. I can move it to where I wish but I do need the clock mechanism to be entirely covered so that it's not going to be visible. So if I'm happy with that I can move my shapes, I can change the size and position of my shapes. The final stage is to move the clock mechanism out of the way, to select all the shapes, and on the Pathfinder tool, click the Unite, which joins them all in together to one shape that can be laser cut. We need to ensure that the laser cutter is going to understand the file, so the line thickness must be 0.001, this is preset, so don't alter that. And the stroke or line color is red. Once we're happy with that, I'm going to move the clock mechanism back into place. I'm going to right click on it and click ungroup, which now means the clock mechanism and the hole that we need to cut are separate. I can move the clock mechanism out of the way. And in fact, I can delete that. So I now have my file ready to be laser cut. You need to save this preferably to your desktop with a file name you'll recognize later and email it to yourself so that it can be laser cut.